Looking for Aaron Murray. This is Brian Tobin, head coach at SUNY Cortland. Red Dragon Swim Camp, June 14. Good start, some solid dolphin kicks, keeping the head position down, very nice. Good steady kick. Nice long reach out in front. Tuck that chin down a little bit more on the turn. Remember, keep the hands close to the body, down by the sides. Because right now what you're doing is you're using your hands to spin to help you tumble. And that's actually a little slower, Aaron. What you want to do is use the hands to press against the water. And that'll help you tumble a little bit more quickly. Left hand's reaching wide, sliding a little bit wide on a couple of those strokes. I'm going to pull straight back. And you can also get more elbow bend. There I can see the left arm in particular, pretty straight elbow, and there you can see it's out wide. Right hand comes under the right hip, but the left hand is out wide of the body. Bring that elbow, bend that elbow, bring that hand under the hip, left hand under the left hip. And I'll give you a little bit more leverage, and it'll feel like you're more powerful. You'll be able to exert force more easily if it's underneath. We're going to move on to a second stroke. One of our rare backstrokers. No touch pads, so no blaming you if you slip. Good job not slipping. That position back off the start. Good steady kick. Fair amount from the knees. You want to try to tickle the surface with your toes. And if you watch, you're not getting much churning up of the water. So that means that the feet are a little bit deep. And you do that by straightening the knees. You want to almost hyperextend your feet. Kick up, straighten the knees so you're churning the surface. Good turn, in particular, we don't have backstroke flags on this side. So I'm really impressed with your ability to estimate the distance. Now as you swim across to the other side of the pool, so we talked a little bit about the kick. What we want to do is straighten out the knees, kick up towards the surface more. Don't let the heels get deep. Keep it shallow. But what I want you to look at is your arms as you swim towards the camera. Now you're pulling fairly straight down by your side, and you can exert more force and have better leverage with bent elbows. So same thing I talked about with your left arm on the freestyle, you're going to see on your backstroke here. And watch those arms. Not a lot of elbow bend until just at the tail end of the stroke. You can get more elbow bend earlier. So as soon as that arm goes in, you want to try to keep rotating that shoulder down and roll over. And roll over. There you go. Perfect. Time that very well as well. I'm impressed. You can see the arms are fairly straight. And it's the same as when you climb out of the pool. When you put your hands on the side, you bend your elbows. And it gives you better leverage, makes you feel stronger. So bend your elbows, and it'll be easier for you to get that backstroke pull. Very nice, smooth kick.